Hello guys and welcome to this video. Um, today I want to show you a little trick or I don't know something that I figured out in the last days. So I'm not that guy that likes this AI stuff uh, that much. I don't know. I think it's a little bit like, you know, a bit, bit dangerous and I don't know. Mm. So what I tried is to um, get some scripts out of ChatGPT that I can use in, um, yeah. Cinema 4D, and maybe you have a pa uh, few uh, nice ideas to, I don't know, uh, ask ChatGPT for a Cinema 4D script. And in this video, I want to show you, yeah, a little bit of tricks that you can use to get a script that works. And uh, yeah, oh, how do you can use ChatGPT uh, to get a script out of uh, that for uh, Cinema 4D? that you can use. Um, we going to... So now we are in Cinema 4D. This is a little script that I did. Um, I want to link uh, in the description a few scripts that I, that I did. I don't know, it's like ChatGPT did it for me, but you know, it's uh, also like, you know, you need to, to know what I'm doing, uh, what you are doing and uh, how it works. So um, I did this a little bit in school. Uh, I had this two years. It's, uh, yeah like a little bit of JavaScript and I have a little bit of knowledge in, in coding stuff, but never something in uh, Python or something. It's uh, not working. So if you want to write a script in Cinema 4D, you can just go from the startup or standard to script. And then you have this window in here. And normally if you create a new file, you get something like this. And this is uh, just, uh, this is something like comments and, um, if we delete this, we can see what what's going on here. Um, it's importing the document and uh, something else. I don't know. And uh, this is the main program, and it just creates a message dialog that says "Hello World," and this is how it works. So I will link in the description a few of my scripts. I can show you what I did. I had the little letterbox uh, thing. It opens a new window, and you can put the letterbox a little bit darker so you can see more of that but you need to press update to get this like uh, percent uh, stuff I don't know you can just um, click and link in the description and you can use it um, I also got this one uh, it's a random polygon selector so if you don't oh, wait, I can't show you what what I mean um, if you don't select anything and you go to this, it says, do you want to display information about the script? And if you pray, yes, uh, you need to select uh, enable object, uh, edible object uh, uh, to use the interface. So if you select this and press yes, you can put a number of random points and the value that uh, should offset the points a little bit. And then you press no. And as you can see, it creates a like random selection of points and random point selection is going to uh, deform a little bit. I can show you that with a little bit more of polygons. Maybe you try 20, 20, 20. And then we have more polygons. You click on this, press yes for points, 10, minus four, no. And as you can see, we have now 10 points that are moved in the ratio of 0 0.8 minus 0 0.1 so it goes inside um, and yeah it's just like a random point selector that I that I created I don't know I I, I did uh, I, I need to put many 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 uh, research in it to get it done and uh, I need to ask some prompts and it's important that you uh, yeah try to uh, give uh JGBT a little bit of information but i can show you this with a practical example now i can j just show the the code a little bit but it's that's just a little video that i want to do about this okay now we are in JGBT and we write a message um i uh, write something before so it's important that you go for uh what you want and it's important that we have um, something uh, in, in this. So uh, it, it needs to know that it's in Cinema 4D Python. So write me a calculator in Cinema 3D Python. 
script maybe is also important and uh, it's important that you tell them open a window and do this and this i don't know this is just an example for calculator if you have better ideas you can uh, import it but it's important that you clearly say JGBT what should the code do and uh, everything that should work so as you can see uh, it's it's creating a um, a script it's importing cinema 4d uh, and uh, yeah GUI from cinema 4d this is important so you know that's uh, cinema 4d um, and as you can see it creates a class it creates a layout the buttons and the window is creating um, with a result and this is uh, uh, yeah what should happening if uh, the button is pressed and what did we uh, do we get and uh, this is the main program and uh, yeah things on top here are uh, getting um, executed I don't know I have to explain it in English but yeah as you can see we get something but we don't have a button so we need to go back and write in so uh, I need a button that gives me a result uh, in a dialog. Uh, add two buttons that give me the result at plus and minus. Positive thing about that is, as you can see, um, it gives you the the text what everything is doing. So as you can see, we get the add and subtract uh, subtract um, button. That's good. So this is implemented now, and yeah, we get everything, and it explains everything. Uh, without any problems and as you can see now we got the add button uh, and a subtract button and as you can see it's working fine and uh, yeah this is how it works and um, you can go for changes and it makes everything that's really good so uh, you could ask ChatGPT also oh we could also ask, can you add a button for divide and multiply? And JGPT is just doing that. If it once works, I have the experience that sometimes it's just adding everything and it works pretty fine. I uh, also did that before. As you can see, the code gets longer and longer. Um, and as you can see, we got the add, subtract, multiply and divide. And it seems to work fine. I don't know. Um, as you can see, we just don't have a, have a text on the on the top. We could also go for for the text on top here. I think this uh, to adding this is not that much com uh, complicated. But yeah, if you just wanna <laughs> let ChatGPT doing that, you could just um, go and uh, ask ChatGPT for window. And it makes it makes this small changes for you. So, yeah, as I as I told you, it's just like uh, you need to get this one. So if you just put self point set text calculator, you just get this. And you could also copy the complete text, so that's not a problem. So as you can see, we don't get this. Like, okay, what should I do here? So we could also put the text on top of that. Uh, so we could also. Uh, ask ChatGPT that. So for the input columns, I want the names number one and number two. And ChatGPT is doing for uh, you for that. So I don't even know so much things about uh, uh, scripting in Python. So it's helping me to learn it. Um, but you also could just yeah use it. Oh, as you can see don't need the prompt name on it so we could just go and uh, uh, add a static text so wait is that working yeah it's working uh, okay so it don't adds uh, like uh, as you can see, don't add like uh, something uh, on top of this edit text thing. It just add, um, adds a new text above that. So as you can see, you have no, number one, number two, and then you could use the calculator. It's really easy. 
and yeah so yeah you, you you learn stuff like that so i think it's not the best way to learn uh python script but if you want to script like quick things and you need something like this you could you could do that and this is like a small example of that if you have the problem that um nothing is create uh, keep creating or generating you could just go for continue generating and sometimes you have this inside of this text so you just need to conti uh, press continue and it works perfectly so this is a little example how to use it and how to uh, get something like this you could also use it for blender or um i don't know <laughs> javascript or something or your uh, 3d program of the choice it also works with blender i really know that but yeah that's how it works how you can use it it's a simple uh, thing i think it's a little bit of other video i don't be like this programmer or something i can't really code that much but it's nice to know and uh, yeah so i will link you my three scripts that i got uh, that i that i made so this is one uh, this letterbox as you can see you can change the letterbox with it then the random polygon selector that i already showed the uh, is in the description and I had the last script um, normally if you have like uh, you're clipping you need to go for project settings and go for display and you need to set the clipping up here you uh, I also have a script here that you can just press on it and you can go for huge so if you have something like really really big things like uh, uh, like a landscape that's sitting above here and uh, I had this problem so often that I don't see this in the distance so normally your clipping length is on medium and as you can see you don't see it and if you go for huge oh wait here huge you can see it again so this is uh, what this uh, thing is doing but as you can see now you don't see the the cube anymore so uh yeah i can show you something if we delete this oh, okay we need a new project to showing that as you can see if you go closer and closer you get this uh sometimes you get this uh, clipping bug that something is so small wait we go for well, we go for something small that it disappears when you go yeah like this so if you go to tiny you don't have this problem anymore so it goes in both situations um i put the three scripts in the description you can download that and um yeah get some i don't know it's like a like a time saver so yeah if you like it that's good and uh, i hope you like this video i hope it could help you a little bit um to figure out something new and uh, yeah goodbye